Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Pokemon Eevee Edition. We were deep underground in Porta City. And uh, yep, okay, that was the red key card. Cause yeah, I think that's the last one we're missing, question mark. There might be a blue one. Uh, but we needed the red one to descend further into the madness of this place. Surprise. Um, and of course I don't have Ask up front because most of the Pokemon have been Magnemite. But naturally, you know, as soon as I take Ask out of being up front, it's gonna not be Magnemite. Wait. No. Oh. Something like that. You know what I mean. Uh, anyways, what do we have here? Elixir. Okay. So yeah, we do have to head back to the Poo Gas basement. And keep going down, and I suspect we're gonna find Zapdos down there. Corrupted Zapdos. Punch you level 34, nice. Um, which if we do is gonna be kind of cool actually, because we have Suicune as a summon. Uh, we got Registeel as a summon. So we're missing Gen 1 summons. So that would actually be pretty cool to get Zapdos. Um, plus just good type variety, honestly. I mean, we have, you know, water type, steel type, electric type. A free level 39 flamethrower learn, cinder level 38 stomp learn, nightshade level 37 lucky chant learn. Oh my gosh, why is everybody learning moves all of a sudden? Hi? Flamethrower only costs 24. 200? Wow. Oh, it's special though. Um, I mean, your special's not bad, all things considered. Probably because we just keep giving you the stat boosting items. Cinder got stomp. Which is physical. That's actually pretty good because for 10 power points, 120, not bad. And Nightshade got Lucky Chant. Raises special for team, okay. Not very useful on this team, but thank you, Nightshade. We'd love and appreciate you, anyways. Okay. But as I said, though, we gotta go back to the Poo Gas basement. So that we can just keep heading down. Uh, let's try flamethrower for a sec. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely a physical attacker, huh? Stomp. Oh, Weezing's actually a little tough, huh? Um. And yes, I'm aware we're on a timer. I know, I know. It's fine, though. Come on. I gotta remember how to navigate. I know that stairs down. Was there anywhere else in this room that I needed a red key card for? We should check because otherwise I'm definitely not going to and I'm certainly gonna miss something if I do. So we'll take the couple extra battles in the time loss and we'll just go. I think we got everything here though from what I recall. Apologies in advance if you guys are all yelling at me that oh, you've already been here. You already got everything. Like, I know we got Corrupted Magnemite there. That's purple. Oh, there is red. Okay, see? Yay. Uh, I got Flash Cannon, Steel Special. Okay. Well, I guess I'm glad I came back. It is giving me a lot of, like, steel coverage moves. Because I got Iron Tail recently, too. Oops, no. Where is it? Oh gosh, menuing. So good at the menuing today. 900 experience. Yeah, okay, so Magneton gives quite a bit. Okay, we've lost, what, a minute and a half? We should be fine. Should I go back upstairs, though? Maybe? Just to be on the safe side? Again, I don't recall if I ever did this on my other save file. I could be mistaken. I mean, again, it's been literal years since I've played this game for the first time. Uh, but let's just do that for a sec. Just to reset the timer. Okay. And we'll head over here. And we'll take the staircase down. I'd like to think that the last time I played this, I did all the extra stuff because I'm just one of those people, like I do love finding all the little secret side quests and hidden areas and all that. Not to the point of being a completionist, but just I like to fully explore games as best that I can. Uh, okay, so we've already been up because up was a bunch of yellow doors. 
This one's a red door. It does lead down. Were there any other red doors down here, though? I don't think so. This is probably where we found the... Oh, no, we got the red keycard from upstairs. But this is where we found the yellow keycard, I think. Again, we're probably just backtracking our backtrack, but free experience, maybe find a shiny. Because again, if we do find a shiny and get the shiny data, also there is an item, nice. Um, I wouldn't mind using it. Oh, I got a summon stone, woo. Um, I wouldn't mind using it on Undine because we did preview shiny Vaporeon in this game and it's orange and it's just the best thing ever. So uh, that is 100% what I would use new shiny data on. No regrets on it. But that does imply that we have to find the shiny in order to get the shiny data. And I'm kind of surprised we haven't because I I mean I know they're I mean I know they're rare. But I think you're supposed to have a decent chance to find one. I don't actually know the odds. But I think it's supposed to be half decent. Because I have found one on my main file. Okay, so we can go down. This looks very final. Oh, there's another report. Personal log. My dear Elena, I won't be able to make it. This bird has destroyed my laboratory, my home. Okay, it is Zapdos. Poison gas has been released and I will be dead in a few minutes. I flew too close to the sun. Sorry. Well, that poor person. Uh, I super hope that time is not ticking while I'm here because I'm trying to menu. Mm -hmm. Just trying to think. Okay, so we have Zapdos. I don't have a good evolution for Zapdos. Um, I mean, we haven't used Umbreon. I feel like... I don't know. We just haven't used it, though. Like, what are his stats, anyways? I feel like his stats were meh. Yeah, he's got high special, but... Uh, heck. Um, I guess Jolteon would be neutral, and I'd resist electric. I know time is taking, I'm aware. Thanks. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, what is this over here? Research log 5, a corrupted Zapdos. It was the first legendary corrupted that we ever encountered. Its power output is reaching extremely dangerous levels. We're starting to worry it could cause a large-scale destruction to these labs, but what we learned is extraordinary. Corrupted Pokemon are made of an exotic type of data. This type of data is not native to the world, and it was let in through the opening of the fourth wall. Gosh, I wonder who opened the fourth wall. I bet it's Oak. We'll just blame everything on Oak. Oh, I just realized I'm not going to be able to use Terra Lift on, uh, on Zapdos. Nor am I going to be able to use Dig. That's unfortunate. Electric Flying, huh? I do have Rollout. Costs a lot of power points. Is there anything up here? No? Okay, this is where we input the computer code. Special Containment Chamber. Release locks. And now it's bold of you guys to assume that I wouldn't remember this. But in fact, I do. Um, I'm usually good at codes if they're short. If they get too long, meh, maybe not, but short codes, sure. Okay, we have 12 minutes, let's go. Gyao! Oh, look at him. I like the little ring he's got on his chest. Very cute. Uh, I doubt that I can paralyze you, but yeah. Uh, also, time is still ticking down, which is fantastic. Love that when I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, this is going to be a long fight, huh? Okay, well maybe I can get a burn if I'm lucky. Zap cannon. No, not Nightshade. He's just a little guy. Thunder. That hits everybody? Nope, that just hit uh, Punchy. Okay. Um, okay, sent you. Oh, I did get the burn. Okay, good. I'm surprised Stomp doesn't have a flinch chance. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, Aerial Ace does, but that's not going to help me. Heck. I guess we'll just keep Flame Clawing. That seems to do okay, and it'll keep getting the burn in case he wears out of it. Discharge. Stop hitting Punchy. Uh, actually, speaking of, let's throw a potion on you. Since you're paralyzed anyways. Uh, Nightshade, you can just keep tackling, I guess. Ow. Okay, we'll use a bigger healing item. Yep, I'm aware. Thanks. Thanks, people. Thanks, game. Uh, let me 
get back to- Just kidding, Punchy's dead. Okay, well I was gonna use Punchy for healing, but I guess it's up to Nightshade now. Uh, where's my phoenixes? Phoenix you. Zapdos is just a very speedy guy. Uh, you're paralyzed, so... Recovers... what am I looking for? 1000 HP to the team. That's what I wanted. Oh, he's using agility. Okay. That would explain some things. And he's just gonna keep spamming agility already. Yeah, of course he just went. Well, you can potion yourself. You can roll out. Guys, just keep hitting it. I wouldn't mind going for a recharge if I get the chance, but... He's just very fast. I haven't had really good timing on that. I think this is also the lowest our timer has ever gone. Not that that's saying much, I have taken forever clicking through the menus right now, but... Okay, we're gonna do a recharge. Kinda gotta. And then just go for the kill. Roost, no! You're not allowed to heal. That's illegal. Only I can do that. Come on. Man, he healed a lot of health, I feel like. Either that or his health bar just isn't going down. Also, yeah, we just recharged again, but I kind of need it anyways. Okay, he's recharging. Good. Get out of here. Bye, Zapdos. You guys should have called me whenever this explosion thing happened. Thunderstone found. Punchy level 35. Rolling kick learned. He already knew that. Use data recovery unit. What is this? How long have I been mindlessly trapped here? Human, were you the one to cleanse me of the cursed corruption? Yep, that was me. I am in debt. In your debt for freeing me. My name is Aptos. I am Lightning. I acknowledge your ability. Take my soul and go forth. You have my blessing. Stormbird, defeat the corrupted Zapdos. Zero learn Zapdos summon. Call me into battle and I will assist you. Yeah, we got three summon stones. I don't need the tutorial. I've seen it twice already. Tabitha level 28. Metal sound learned. Okay, now we do have the teleporter, don't we? Why don't we actually use this for once? The one time in this game I might actually use it. Hooray. Okay, man man is full. Yeah, I don't doubt that. We were in that underground area for a long time. Yes, yes, game. I know my man man is full. Thank you. Let's get some good items. Come on, get to the better stuff. Dry ice, ghostly powder, battery, gigabyte. Ooh, nice. Drill piece. Moonstone. Oh, you can just find the evolution stones. Interesting. Man, can you imagine if we had found an early game leaf stone? I mean, I know we found it relatively early, all things considered, but yeah. Uh, any hoodles. We are supposed to take the boat. That being said, the battle zone apparently was to the north, they were saying. I think the sign said something about that. And there's also these roots. Um, I do want to go unlock the battle zone. I don't know if it's going to let us actually do battles. I'm fine if it doesn't, but um, battle zone is kind of the best thing ever, so I think I mentioned in another episode, but yeah, you can use it for training because it gives you experience, which is great. Uh, not that our team's been too bad. I feel like we've done enough of the wild fights that it's not really a big deal. Like, we're not underleveled or anything, necessarily. I mean, we are taking down literal legendary Pokémon, so, you know. But it is nice to have. Found a soaked body, okay. Uh, oh, I almost missed the timing on that. Ponyta. I feel like I should switch my Eevee as well. Da -da -da -da. What do we have? The Chops and Ponytas? I could switch to Asuka, just to have the chop coverage. Uh, I think I can do that here, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh. Hey, bud. Come back? Hello? Oh, it is a Machoke. Okay, good. Asuka. Murder. Uh, oh, he has Confuse right now. Status 75% to Confuse all. Not bad. Um... Oh, you have Aerial Ace. Good. Flinch. He did not flinch. Dynamic Punch. Ow. Uh, do I have anything good? Mm. Just regular punches and all that? Okay. 
double kick. Just do a little bit of damage. Oh, Nightshade can actually use Giga Drain on this. It's not super effective or anything, but he can. So that's nice. Also, Machoke is slow compared to frickin' Zapdos using agility. Not that I'm surprised, but you know. Also, he's flinched. This poor guy is just gonna be flinched this whole fight. Oh, we do get to see Machamp. I like his tail. It's kind of fun. Okay, you can actually go for a recharge, although I think the battle zone has a healing spot. Ow, that did damage. Excuse you, sir. Not nice. Black Belt, Cinder level 39. Nightshade level 30. I feel like we're leveling up very fast. Probably that underground lab really helped, but... See, I should have called you Punchy. Not the frickin' hip on top that kicks things with his legs. But, uh, you know. A little late now. Yes, I'm aware we can rename things. It's fine. Okay, so we can unlock Boulder shortcut. So there's the battle zone. But we're gonna be at Dingus's and we're gonna walk this way first. Because I am curious what's around here. Okay, well that's nothing. There's probably just another item here. But you know. Uh, come on, team. Just take him out. Oh, ask a level 40. Yeesh. See, I would like to get an item. Oh, I got a defense up. Hidden item. Yay. See? Totally worth it. Zero is yet stronger. Uh, shenanigans over this way. Okay. Oh, Swallow and a Talo. Alrighty. Take that. Uh, you also have Swift. Everybody just Swift who has it. Oh, Rollout hits everybody. Oh, you guys are so dead. Except for Swallow. Swallow seems to have a lot of, a lot of hit points or something. I guess they gotta give it something. It is Swallow. Okay. Item. Chain wrist. I already have one of those, I do believe. Oh yeah, we got one from the police officer guy. And just- oh, okay. Didn't even get Nightshade to use it. Cool. Just get the nice little finger gun's hand. Oh, that was- that was jank. Alright. Glad that didn't softlock or anything. Uh, speaking of softlocks, maybe I should save. Smart choice, I know. Battle zone unlocked? I think so. Yeah, if we do prize... Battle zone warp unlocked. Okay, good. Good, good, good. The prize zone is connected to all the other zone buildings, but you need to go to the prize zone to- to from the zone building to unlock the path. That is English. Finally reached the sixth floor, halfway there. Ha ha. You'll rarely run into the same enemies twice. I swear this tower looks taller than 13 floors. <laughs> what secrets do floor 13 hide, I wonder? Uh, do you heal me? Hi, I'm from Sylphco. We use it to create TMs, equipment, and other items. Okay. I thought it healed me. Am I wrong? Does the prize area have a heal? It might heal you after you're done, you know? Okay, well, still, let's do a battle, just because we can. Welcome to the battle zone, a super high tower that pierces the clouds, when there is clouds. There's 13 floors, if you reach the top you get a special prize. The higher you reach, the more zone credits you'll get. It costs $200 and you won't be able to take any money you get from defeating Pokemon. Okay. Uh, that's fine, enter the battle zone, 200 bucks. Oh yeah, that's right, and you get like prizes every time you beat a floor. Floor one, yeah. Right, okay. Um, Aska, you actually should be something with thunder. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else we got? So we got Croconaw, Pinsir, and Noctowl. Well, Pinsir, you're weak to that. Very weak to that, my goodness. Um, roll out. Two of you are weak to that. Ow. Nightshade, Croconaw. Thank you. And you can spark. Nice. Good job, team. I mean, this is floor one. It's supposed to be fairly straightforward and easy. But yeah, see, it gives you like 1,400 experience. Like, that's that's kind of insane. Oh, hi, Eevee. Um, okay, random multiplier, I think, or... 
Oh, well, nighttime first. Uh, bonus increase, decrease, or random multiplier. I forgot what the multipliers do. Okay, I'll just take the straight bonus boost. Why not? I wonder if, I think there's something about like one, one of it makes the enemies harder, but it gives you better rewards or something. I don't know. There's probably a lot of weird, like, what do I want to say? Like intricacies to this. I don't remember them all, but okay, get rid of you. Punchy, you can do a rolling kick. Um, Nightshade, you're fantastic, so just acid spray everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of go for this. Okay. Could Terra lift. Let's get rid of Lickitung. Also, did it heal me after that last fight? I feel like maybe it did. I'll take a look at my team after this one. 16, 14, Stardust. Oh yeah, and you get, yeah, you get items too. Uh, nope, it didn't, okay. So I can do plus or minus multiplier. I can do random multiplier, which is probably smarter. Okay, multiplier times three. So did this make everybody harder? Not really, okay. So maybe that's just for rewards. Uh, Cinder. Lava Bloom. Okay, not bad. Punchy, if you would like to. Rolling Kick. And Nightshade. Acid Spray. Oh, don't blind. Thank you. Double kill. Oh, okay. Almost. I like the background too, the rainbow is very nice. 2600 experience, mystical leaf, bird wings found. Bot level 26, yeah, so this is a great place to level. Bonus increased, oh I guess it's random if it increases or decreases, that's funny. Uh, send, floor 4, sure. More pogeymans. Still weak to electricity, so that's kind of nice. Um, only one of you is weak to fire, so... Get out of here, Pineco. Rolling kick's not going to be great. Um, rollout hits everybody. Rollout, rollout. Okay, good. And then we can Giga Drain you. And then... Let's actually switch to a Thundershock. Oh, that didn't kill Goldeen. Gosh darn it. Okay, fine. Swift. And you have Swift, you don't. Great. Spark! Okay, let's actually do a recharge. It's gonna be very slow, but I don't think Meditite can really hurt us that bad, so... Tackle. Yeah. So that's fine. Um, Ember. And then just tackle him. Because yeah, I guess that's the hardest part about this tower, is trying to maintain your... Like power points. Punch you level 36. Smite level 27. Okay, uh, let's increase the bonus again. Bonus increase plus 331. I think that's just straight points. Like we get 588 extra points or whatever at the end. Like whatever those token, arcade ticket token things are. Words, you know. Um, okay. I should probably Terra lift that Arbok. He's kind of terrifying. Let's do a rolling kick. And Acid Spray won't really help me, so Giga Drain work on it. Yeah. And then Spark again. Get rid of some of you. Okay, Cinder actually... Mm, recharge? I guess. Arbok's gonna hit us hard, but... I do need to start recharging a little more, I think. Okay. And you... Double kick snubble. Punchy. Roll out. And you can get rid of our good friend Ariados. Just kidding. Double kill? Nope. Okay. Poison fang. Don't poison. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're allowed to use items though, so I mean I can use a couple of my items. Bolt level 41. Cinder level 40. Nightshade level 39. Yeah, you can see we're just getting levels. We're only on floor six. Multiplier increase times four. Um, we should be okay for another fight, yeah. 
Yeah. I guess we'll just keep going until we don't make it anymore. Because again, I don't think anything bad happens if you, like, don't make it, you know? I think it just plops you at the beginning. I guess we'll find out. Um, could rolling kick rollout's probably better. Pin shots, ow. Okay, we need to start taking out that Dawn fan, huh? Dawn fan is kind of a tanky boy. Okay, good. Cinder. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do a recharge. Ooh, Punchy's low on health, isn't he? So is Cinder. You know what? So is a lot of my team. Yeah, we're in limit. Okay. Fine, I'll heal after this. And you. I could Lava Plume. Does that really help me, though? Not much, but we're gonna try it. Might take out some of the guys? Yeah, okay. Horn attack. Nightshade. That's fine. Hit Nightshade all you want. He can take it. He's just at full health because he's Nightshade. Okay, Swift, get rid of you. Tackle. Slowly get rid of you. Very slowly. That should be a lot of experience. 4,000 experience. $150. Warm Lava found, which I think is an upgrade from fuel. Tabitha level 29. Okay, let's grab the bonus. And it decreased by 14. Okay, let's do... Mega Potion? Okay. I do have all these, like, berries and stuff. I should probably be using them. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Do you have any that just straight heal power points? Not really. So I have Apper Candies. 200 HP, 50 PP. These are all my TMs. Recovers 20 HP, recovers 40 HP. This is not useful. 100 HP, 1000 HP. Okay, Moomoo Milk is... Wait, how do I only have one Moomoo Milk? My man man has definitely found more than that. Has it just not been giving me man man stuff? I think it has been, but like... Not the moo moo milks? That's so weird. Okay, well that's great. Um, Well, I guess we can use elixirs and ethers and all that. Uh, ether to you. Oh, I could have just mega ether to ether wave. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of PowerPoint healing stuff, but... That's fine. At least power points we can recharge in battle. Health is a little harder. Okay, they're getting a little scary. They're level 43 now, which is fantastic. And spark. And... And I say as if I have a plan. I should probably hit the Vile Plume. That's not a Vile Plume. That's a Victory Bell. That was the word I was looking for. Yes. You know the one. I have a vile plume. Yeah, so I guess we'll save our healing items, and if we faint, we just we just faint. I feel like the enemies are gonna get too strong by the time we get to floor 13, so. This probably isn't our run, but I did just want to show off the uh, the battle zone. Because again, as you can see, it's a really effective tool for just supercharging your team and just leveling them up so much. Which can make the game really easy after this. Because you could just spend like an hour in here and just have an absolutely disgusting team. So it's kind of nice, I guess, if you want to play that way. We'll probably avoid doing that for obvious reasons, but... Yeah, I guess Rollout's not going to do much. Okay, Swift. One kill. Um, you can actually Acid Spray. Nice. Probably should have recharged on that one. Oh well. 4,500 experience. Punchy level 37. What floor are we on? Floor 8. Maybe I should just... Can I just leave? Yeah. I don't know if it doesn't give you rewards if you, like, don't win. So let's just quit. We weren't getting anything from that anyways. Floor 8 reached. New floor record! 4 multiplier, 574 bonus. Okay, obtained 894 zone credits. New high score. Oh, I got Battle Addict. So did that heal my team? Yeah, so it heals your team when you leave. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, anyways, that's a good way to farm, like, the prize tokens and all that. 
just as a fun little thing you can do. Again, I, I did use the battle zone quite a bit on my other file, mostly when I was waiting for updates for the game to come out. I would just kind of farm the battle zone every once in a while. Just cause. Uh, also, I think... Yeah, I don't think our water bottle was full, or if it was, it was just seawater. Uh, man man? Before I get anywhere? Just a keel bite, pretty much, okay. So we can go south. I don't know if there's much to the south. It's kind of just a connecting route, isn't it? Oh, there is bird. Okay, we should probably go get bird. Uh, what does this say? Route 13, route 14's down this way. Okay, let's go get bird just in case it's a nighttime only encounter. Not that we necessarily need more team members, but you know. Uh, let's actually roll out. Come on. Okay. Victory. Yeah, see, 900 experience, so not bad from the Pony House. Also, Ember Pieces, which I think you can use to make fuel. I just kind of assume that any fire stuff you can use to make fuel. Okay, I guess we'll fight whatever's over here. Wingles! Oh my god, you guys are so dead. Really? Come on. They must have had, like, one health left each. Nightshade level 40! Yay. Uh, there's a dude down there. Let's- I want to go fight the bird, though. Kind of looks like Talo. Nope, that's that's a Pelipper. Okay. Well, you are very dead to my uh, 200 base power Thunderbolt. Oh my god, that did like over a quarter. Yeah. Um, do I have anything for you? Not really. Punchy, you have rollout at least. And Nightshade can actually neutrally hit you with a Giga Drain, which is fantastic. The real MVP, though, we all know it's Volt. Okay. Let's just casually protect. Okay, I was gonna say, please tell me that doesn't negate all damage, it just raises your def or, uh, yeah, defense, probably. Not gonna help you, though. You're, you're only worth 600 experience. Oof. Cinder level 41. Blaze up was learned? Is that like, um... Burn up or whatever. Use data recovery unit. I don't think burn up was a move back then. Pelipper devolved into Wingle. Obtain Wingle. Okay, well, we're doing a throwback here. Shoutouts to all of you who understand the reference to Pina. Pina went to the BZ, where she will never be touched. Pelicant. Feed the corrupted Pelipper. Uh, hey, sir, this island looks like a bean or a kidney. Thank you for that riveting dialogue. Dragon Pulse. Ooh. So this leads to Route 14. I was just seeing if there was like a like a shortcut or anything I was unlocking, because again, I... Dirty Swamp Water. 25 PP. Okay. Oh, there's Snorlax. Okay. So there's not really a lot here, actually. Uh, I could poke my head around here a little bit. Just to see if there's an item or two left. Kind of interesting that it doesn't give us a way to get rid of the Snorlaxes right now. Because there's not really a reason for the game to block that off anymore, I don't think. And as far as I know, I don't have a Poke Flute or anything like that, so... Meh. Mm, keep hitting you. Yeah, you guys are worth more than the Pelipper. Cool. I do appreciate the Ember pieces, though. Smite level 28, Reflect Learned. Because again, if you can make fuel out of those pieces, then that's A-OK -okay in my books. Okay, so how do I get back up? Just, just walk up. Okay. So that was a looping path there. Where does this go? More Ponytas. Well, I found the route for uh, getting some fire pieces. Apparently this one. And just keep hitting it. Did you just try to burn Cinder? Nice. Very smart, Bonita. 
He looks so offended by it. Ember pieces, ember pieces, volt level 42. Okay, no, this is where I came from. So... Was there anything over this way? I don't think so. Nope, there isn't. Okay. Well, that was a nice, fun little jaunt. Again, kind of a nice little way to get more uh, ember pieces, so... Not a complete waste of time, and we got Corrupted Wingull. I know we're all so very excited about that one. I know you guys were waiting for, with bated breath for me to find the Corrupted Pelipper and get the Corrupted Wingle. So, you can rest easy tonight. Because I did it. Okay, the berry tree has not come back. So, I think this is still closed, isn't it? Closed until further notice, yeah. Okay. Well, let's go hit up the Poke Center, we'll get our man-man. And then I guess next time we'll head to Ignis Island and Ignis Town, and go do that, I, I guess. Why not? Now that we have just skyrocketed our level, just doing one run through the battle zone. Okay, so I believe the boathouse was this away? Yeah. But we'll save that for next time. So, thank you guys for joining me this week, and I'll see you next week.